Hello everybody and welcome to this live trading session. My name is Pedro Mejias and as you can see on the screen right now, my email is pedro at predictive.com. If you have any questions regarding the predictive service, applications and indicators, you can send an email to support at predictive.com at any time. As you may know, I trade the Euro Futures every uh, Monday. It can be here on YouTube and also on uh, FX Street. All right. So let's uh, begin. Let's see what the Euro Future is uh, providing us today uh, to trade with. Let's check out um, with some some of the charts. Um, let's go. Okay. This is a chart, but let's go for first. Let's take a look at what the the euro is doing today against all the other currencies. And to do that, the best way is to look at some chart rating. And let me put this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. All right, this is a rating chart, um, forex rate table on on the website of FX Street, and what I'm looking at is at the euro against all other currencies. This is one way you can use to determine your bias for the day. And what I look at is the change, the daily change, or the daily percentage change in each pair. Of course, I always uh, have to look at the most important um, crosses uh, against the euro like the US dollar, the pound, the yen and you know I, I analyze this in a way that I can see for example here that the euro is actually stronger than the dollar okay which is one of the most important uh, crosses we can have oh nothing goes uh, sorry I was uh, mute so <laughs> let me get back and do it over again. Um, I was telling you guys that, no, well, um, you can see my email on the screen. It's pedroatredicted.com. And if you have any question uh, regarding this uh, session or the past ones, you can see the recording. You can ask me anytime, send me an email, or use the chat if you are live right now. The first half hour is going to be um, multicast in, in, in different places like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and on our, on our website, predictive website. For the next half hour, it only is going to be on predictive website so you better sign up there to watch the the rest of the um, the broadcast okay and I was um, telling you guys one way to look at what's going on on the on the uh, on the euro is to see uh, what let me just uh, get it for you the um, All right, this is not the window. Let's go back. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're having some technical difficulties. Let me just I think it was delete this one I'm gonna add the the effects three website that I was looking at so you can see the different rates on the euro that is a, a way I have to determine by my bias during the um, during the day okay 
Yes, I had it, but okay, here it is. Okay, now you can see it. So I was uh, telling you guys, but I was mute that I use this. Uh, you can use this website, it's a factory website. You can use any other that shows you how the the currency you're using is performing against all the others. In this case, we can see the euro against the dollar, the, the pound, the yen. You can see all all the, the crosses all right, that you may have with the euro. And what I pay most attention to is the first, I mean, the most, the major crosses, right? The dollar, the pound, the yen. And we can see today, for example, that the dollar is weaker right now against the 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 euro okay we can see how the pound is actually getting weaker as, as we speak and the yen is also uh, weak against the euro so this give us an idea a general very general idea on how is the euro performing against all the others and we can definitely see that is strong currency today um, other thing you can look at is of course the uh, economic calendar to see if there is there is any event that might you know affects whatever you are you're doing and we can see in 30, 30 minutes 45 minutes we have some some re news release or some um, reports that might affect the uh, the movement of the currency so you have to be aware of this as well just just in case and, and now we can see the the euro chart okay you can see let me just uh, move it a little bit to the side okay so you can see all all of it okay let me just put it smaller you can see it better. I think it was moving the wrong one. Okay, now this is it. Okay, you can see here. Just put it smaller so you can see it. Okay, now it's good. Okay, we have here um, in this window. Update it. You can see it better. Okay. Now we can see here. This is the euro. This is this is a trading view website, and we can see um, from the opening. Let's look at the beginning of the, the sessions. This one right here. How is being performing? Right. We 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 saw that on the on the rates. It shows us that the, the euro was actually strong, stronger against the other currencies. And we can see that here. You can see how the euro is going up, right? So went a little bit down, then up again, and so on. Okay, we can see that it's actually in an uptrend. And this is the second step. We just a visual check on, on the chart to tell us what our bias is going to be okay this is a very simple way to to look at the chart and just say oh yes this is going up sometimes it's not that clear but you have you know the tools i just show you the rates to try to figure it out right and we also have here down here is the climate indicator that you can get it from from tradewithufo.com where you can see the the trend uh and it's an uptrend in this uh short period of time that we're looking at looking at the five minute chart and it, at this moment is going in an uptrend all right it's pretty simple but now we need to find out or uh, find a spot where we can put our entry uh safely and get out pretty quick with a profit all right that's what we we try to do all the time and you can see here this uh, green dot right here is the 
UFO indicator as where you can get it on um, predictive.com and on tradeufo.com and you can see here that we are using it on TradingView but you can also use it on Entify okay it's available for Entify for TradingView and also for um, TradeStation right you use any of those platforms you can get this indicator and what this indicator does is just show you the buying and selling areas in the chart okay so it's very visual you can see that here in this section here is a buying opportunity and that's what we're looking for we're looking for buying opportunities uh, this day right so let's um, let's take a look at uh, the other flow chart which is uh, the one that I actually trade with after analyzing the um, the other tools right that give me a better understanding of the market of what's happening on the market so here it is okay and what I'm gonna do is uh, switch this this um, cluster chart for for a candle candlestick so you can understand it better now you can see the candlesticks people is more familiar with candlestick and you may see some some lines and some um, arrows those are my volume indicators showing me where where volume is where stopping volume is where imbalances are all right because when you trade with with order flow you need to see volume you need to see trades and on the right side here you can see the liquidity that is available these are the pending orders in the market and it's very very important uh, for you to know uh, because you, you will know exactly where the the other traders are waiting for an opportunity to to enter the trades okay they are pending orders they are not aggressive as uh, market orders remember that the market orders are the ones who actually move the price these pending orders are you're standing there waiting for somebody to to take it okay that's that's basically uh, the difference between a, a market order and um, a pending order okay pending orders provides liquidity to the market so they are very important because if there's no no pending orders there there won't be no trades because nobody will be able to provide um, you know offers uh, in the market right so what we need to look at here when we are trading uh, with the order flow system that I have designed is try to find uh, good spots for entering the market safely okay and trying to protect our entry with volume as well and get out and get in the same way I mean with volume where there's volume and that's what we need, what we need to find out and there's a very very simple way to, to do that is just to look at what's in, in the in the bars you know looking for for that volume but we can spot uh, I can spot here several areas that are very interesting I'm gonna highlight them just highlight here this is the the market open and you can see how oh sorry you don't know what now you can see how the the price begin here and I just highlighted this area because you see it's at the bottom um, it might be a target zone but that depends on how the days goes by but it is a little bit far away so I'm not gonna take into account right now I'm just gonna move to the next one which is, is this one seems very interesting okay, we can see this area here looks pretty nice you can see how the price haven't been able to, to touch it yet this was very close but it got rejected that's that's what we're looking for so this is volume here we can see exactly how much volume is here okay just by um, switching this into clusters okay if we do that let me show you we can see 
exactly how many how many trays were made in the area. So we have it over here. Just go right the price. Here it is. Here is the song that we're looking at, and you can see the the volume. You can see um, how many buyers, how many sellers. Everything is in here in these clusters. Okay, it's, it's a footprint left by the the traders that took these um, prices that were um, offered by liquidity providers in this case. Okay, and we can see when the the breakout started. And how it started, you can see this. Uh, sorry, let me move this here. Okay, you can see here how this imbalance, 65 uh, imbalance trade, actually pushed the price up. You can see the arrow here, pushed the price up. And here is the stop, okay? It's the stop of this, this movement, then it begins to move sideways once again, and then. You can see a lot of buying trades here that push the price a little bit up and maintain it right over this area. Okay. And what we need to see, uh, let me just show you something here. For example, if we have this this breakout here, which is the the interesting part, we would like to highlight it and try to see the volume. You know that was inside this 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 upper movement, and I find uh, a very interesting area here in the volume. There are actually two interesting price range. Remember that the volume has to be analyzed horizontal because it will tell you exactly the price in which the volume is. Okay, you see volume vertically. You will only know that at that time there was volume, but you don't know at which price. So horizontally is the best and the only way to see volume. Okay. So look at look at this. We have these two yellow lines I just put in, which is I, I found a very interesting area. I can find a third one. Third one would be this right here. And we can see in the future how the price when it gets nearby these lines I just, uh, just put in, how it reacts. And that is how it will always work. Okay? We always uh, do similar things. Uh, I may have three different uh, price because one might be already be taken okay? because these are probably where the on-field orders are. Okay? So let's, let's look at it. Let's see what has been happening. This one came real close. See the next one here. It didn't touch. This one touched uh, both the lines, you can see, and how it was rejected. So this was a very good buying area okay, at this time. And look, you can see how the price just go go higher from this point. So it's a, it's a winning situation here. Okay. And see if touch again. This one oh, here again, another touch right in this area. You can see it was mm, very very fast. It was just like a, a wick on the of the candle that entered the buying area and then got rejected once again, very high. So it's another winning uh, situation here. And let's see if there's another. No, there's nothing else price is currently up here okay and that's how you found, find um, a buying area with very good potential you need to try to find the volume that will reject the price okay in this case we have this one right here okay and another thing you have to take into account when putting on a tray is what's available what's what are dependent orders in that price range all right. Um, well, we have um, we're coming to uh, the end of the first um, half of this session, where we uh, I, I will stop um, casting the um, 
uh, in, in different platforms and will only be streaming on tradewithufo.com and tradictive.com. Mm. Okay. So if you want to continue looking at this um, broadcast, please go to our website and join us. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to switch now over to 